Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned in to Real Fans Real Talk. A different type of blend Backing up Misfit To make sure y'all tuned in You gotta watch This show is one of a kind Updates on your TV screen From 8 to 9 For the older folks So even if you younger No matter what sport This show we got it covered It's filmed live In the middle of BK So ain't no better sports show To watch on Thursday It's Sierra Jordan I'm here at Stevenson High School In the Bronx Where we got the head coach Of the girls varsity team Coach B, thanks for joining us. Can you tell us about your sports background? Sure. Um, so I've been coaching at Stevenson for two years. This is my second year, um, okay. but my first year as head coach. Last mm -hmm. year I was assistant coach. I uh, played basketball, softball, volleyball all throughout my high school career. Um, I did some coaching for USA Youth League, which was interesting, um, mm -hmm. but really growing into my own here at Stevenson <laughs> as my first year as head coach. And how has it been um, first year as head coach <sighs> Overwhelming, <laughs> amazing, um, incredible. Mm -hmm. So last year as assistant coach, kind of took a back seat, seeing where the girls are right. um, and getting to know the players. Because mm -hmm. there's nothing worse than a coach coming in and thinking they know everything. And then the girls like, wait a minute, I've been here for four years. You don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. Um, building relationships is so important. <sighs> building relationships and understanding that the girls that have their own point of view of things mm -hmm. and they feel like they're right because they've played for so long. And a lot of times they are, you gotta listen to your players, but then gaining their trust and earning that trust and knowing that this is gonna be built for years is, yes. extremely, one of, is extremely important for me. And what encouraged you to become a basketball coach? Uh, the, the need for women coach in PSAL, oh, right? Yes. So I was coached by all males, every single sport that I played in high school. Most of our coaches here are male, they're fantastic. Mm -hmm. But where's the women role models as far as their other career alternatives in sports other than just playing? Because yeah. the WNBA is amazing and what these ladies do is amazing. However, is that the only road I can go down? And we're arguing about wage gap, and the gender wage gap and like, yeah, we're playing the same sport, but you make millions of dollars compared to me. I make $50,000 a year as playing right. WNBA. So what are the alternatives? Who are your role models? And there was a gap. I was talking to James, who was our AD. I'm like, I need to be that person. Exactly. And he was like, you got it. You just come, meet the girls, see how you feel, fill it out. And he was like, for sure, you fit. So him trusting me with that, I was like, <laughs> oh, I'm taking this all the way I'm going. But there's definitely a gap of female coaches. And I've taking that responsibility on, like, I'm here, it's permanent. Exactly. Yeah. When I came to the game and I saw that you were a female coach compared to the other coach, yeah. he was a guy. Yeah. And you knew what she was doing. You yeah. guys battled throughout the entire game. Yeah. And then you were able to pull through and execute and yeah. beat them. How was that, like, how does that momentum get you to continue coaching? Part of it is the momentum starts with confidence, right? Like right. we know what we're doing. We believe in the program. We know it's strong. Mm -hmm. How do I get the girls to buy in? Right. Because once they buy in, it's not even on me anymore. Mm -hmm. Now they're holding each other accountable. Exactly. So when we play a game like we played on Saturday, gym is packed, crowded, Adidas Legacy is there. We have a team that we've never played before. Mm -hmm. But of course they're capable. They came to play. Mm -hmm. They know what they're coming into. What keeps us going is knowing that we can succeed, knowing that we've seen success, knowing that we've overcome obstacles that were much bigger than we played. That game was for fun, right? right. So we're like, oh, we can make mistakes, but we use that as practice. Mm -hmm. That game was as hard as we played in any game. It was a, it was, it was it was a scrimmage. <laughs> it was a scrimmage, it was intense, but you're gonna get that from us every single day, 100%. Okay. There's not gonna be a change 
because that's the expectation we have. We, we're going to practice like we play. Mm -hmm. What you do in practice, what you're going to do in the game. That's what we did. I mean, yeah. looking at looking at the other coach, I saw they kept having to change people out, change people out. And we were like, no, we're fine. We know what we're doing. Exactly. They didn't know what to do. But people on my team, the girls, they have their role. They know what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I don't even have to say anything. Sometimes they need me to sit, scream and yell, and I'm going to do that. But they know I trust them. Exactly. Yeah. And what are the key factors of the team that you coach? Like, what do you try to um, tell your team? We have a mantra. <laughs> <laughs> we have a mantra, right? Like really? any, like any girl, like any girl does. But um, <laughs> any coach should, right? Yeah. Like, what are your values? Every day, you got to tell your girls you are capable, you are powerful, you are loved. Mm -hmm. So, regardless of the game, regardless of how well one person plays, regardless of the outcome, whatever the score is, you're capable, you're powerful, you're loved. Yeah. It doesn't begin with basketball. It doesn't end with basketball. Basketball's gonna be probably one of the smallest parts of your life, but I hope it has the biggest impact. Mm -hmm. When you go and you raise your own daughters, you go and you have your own partners, or you go back to your family, what are you bringing back from this? Mm -hmm. Are you better when you leave me than when you came to me? Can I give you a piece of me? What does that piece look like? Can I see myself in you? What that, piece can I give you, right? Yeah. So you're capable, you're powerful, you're loved. Mm -hmm. So even in that moment when I'm screaming and yelling, get back, move your feet, <laughs> you're capable, you're powerful, you're loved. That's the mantra. Exactly. And I feel that um, when you have a team, you have to build a relationship with yes. your teams to make sure that they trust you. Mm -hmm. And it has to be like your second family. Yes, yes. Um, so one thing we do do is probably super corny. Call me corny, what is it? What is it? <laughs> um, we're big with birthdays. <laughs> so everyone who has a birthday, we make sure whatever we're doing, game, practice, I don't care if it's the biggest game of the season, this is your moment. We're going to get you a cake. We're going to sing you happy birthday and we're going to celebrate because so many times you're going to leave me and you're going to forget things that I've said to you. Okay. But you won't forget the moments that you were loved. You won't forget the moments where we celebrated you. That was your time. We're going to take pictures with you. We're going to put you on Instagram. We're going to yeah. make sure that you understand that you have a place here. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of our girls come from environments where this is their second year in the country, not even second year in high school. Right. I have girls who are still learning English, trying to graduate high school because they just came from the Dominican Republic four weeks ago, right? Yes. So these are real issues as being an educator and a coach. You may not feel at home when you're home sometimes because right. you're growing, you're a girl, you're a teenager, and all that is hard, I've been there. But when you come here, this is your home. So how do we make you feel like this is not just a team that you're a part of, but these are your sisters? Mm -hmm. Build confidence in them because they believe in you. Right. This is it, we're a family. You gotta be a family. That's it. <laughs> as a coach, as a teacher, how can you help the students become better student athletes? Oh man, loaded question. Um, <laughs> two parts. So first is expectations, right? Right. So make it very clear from the beginning. This is what we expect. This is what we want. Mm -hmm. That was day one meeting. Bef anything before Adidas Legacy, I need to see your transcripts and your report mm -hmm. cards. I need to see where you are because we got to figure out where you can go. Exactly. There's girls on my team who have tremendous academic success, and I'm super proud of that. But like any team, not everyone's on the same level. Mm -hmm. So we have actually have academic partners on our team who are actually the males in the building, right? All our right. team managers are male, which is an amazing thing to see them support the girls, but they will sit down and do work with them on Saturdays. So before Saturday practice, we have Saturday school for the girls. Okay. Come to see me. You need volunteer hours, come to see coach. Mm -hmm. Coach got you. We have a math teacher who's an assistant coach. We have a history teacher who's an assistant coach. I'm a government and economics teacher. Whatever you need, we got it. So you're gonna come to me Saturday school, first thing before practice, number one. Right. And with Women's History Month coming up, you know, it's literally right around the corner. Yeah. Um, how can you impact other women in sports? So we've thought about that. Um, and I think it happens at two levels. The first level is as a team level. So we've been blessed having Adidas legacy and them allowing us to be just under their wing and it give us so much exposure. So how do we give back, right? Right. So we're actually doing a couple clinics for middle schools, and middle school teams and middle school girls wow. come out, work with the high school kids, mm -hmm. see what we're doing, see what works and see what it's like to come to a school like Stevenson that has been blessed. Yes. First. So the next generation of women is going to learn 
from this generation and turning the tide. Yeah. So we're talking about girls who may be 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, are gonna come and learn from girls who are 16, 17, 18 on their mm -hmm. way to college. So even though they, they may not understand the big picture now, they understand junior high school girls come in and I, they're looking at a couple athletes that we have, wow, you have $750,000 in scholarships. Right. You're a three sport athlete, I wanna be like you. Exactly. So it's not even so much me setting the example for these middle school girls, it's the team, mm -hmm. right? So like that's, that's one thing that's happening. That's amazing for them. As a female coach, I think that as far as Women's, women's History Month and like what, what, is your, what is your impact on young women, I think what's most important for them to see is me showing up every day. Of course. Me being a voice in the room. Me being just as loud as any of the male coaches that'll come on this floor and yell. Women are supposed to be calm and not yell. No, coaches making noise. <laughs> coaches coming in, coaches yelling at me. But that puts you on a platform. When your voice is heard, mm -hmm. people, people understand that you have a platform. And a lot of female coaches that I've seen or I've coached with, they just take a much more laid back approach. Right. You could talk to anyone on my team and they know that coach, don't mess with coach, coach got the voice. <laughs> so if coach needs to yell, yell, she's gonna yell and scream, but tomorrow she don't have a voice. Right. Um, and I think that me, them seeing that and me telling them constantly, the world will beat you up. Mm -hmm. The world will hold you back. Don't do it to yourself. Right. And that's something that we've had to have that conversation. My whole team is women of color. Every girl I coach is a woman of color. The world looks at women of color very differently oh. than another group, mm -hmm. right? So if you already know this, what change can we make? Make your voice heard. The way that you speak to people is what is remembered. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's absolutely no cursing on my team. When you speak to anyone, it's coach, anyone, any of the coaches. We have four of them. I don't want to hear that's the assistant coach. I don't know. You're going to respect coaches like it was me because we give you that respect. Mm -hmm. So allowing them to voice their own opinions and having a voice in practice and in games. And you need to talk to me. Come talk to me. It's a moment right. of passion, but I'm listening. Let me hear you. Yeah. And sometimes you got to grab those girls coming. I need to talk to you. And, and them understanding that they have a space is extremely important when they're is a whole world that's going to try to quiet their voice. Mm -hmm. You've got to give them a voice. You teach a lot of mannerism, a lot of um, what girls cannot do and what they can do mm -hmm. inside and outside the basketball court. Do you plan on staying long term as a high school basketball coach? Yes. Yeah. Um, this is it. So <laughs> it sounds corny to say, but I was thinking like maybe I should be a gym teacher and like mm -hmm. coach, right. but I'm an educator inside the classroom. And for me, part of why I'm a teacher is because I can coach. Okay. Because this gives me a platform to coach. Mm -hmm. Because I know that the competition in New York is real, right? It so is real. <laughs> there's <laughs> it's hard to get a scholarship for um, basketball yeah. athletes. It's super hard. Yeah. Um, and we were asking a couple of co college coaches, like, why is it so difficult? Because New York used to be, the, this, this used to be the place. New York City was a place for basketball players. But what's happening is a lot of our players are building, pu being pulled to charter schools and like boarding schools, boarding schools. to mm -hmm. go play for them. And that's amazing when kids get those opportunities, but what happens to the city schools, right? So how do I make sure that your experience here is everything you need it to be? How do I make sure that you're not just a great athlete, but when you show me your report card or when those coaches call me, oh, I got a 90 average, don't worry, she's gonna be excellent. Mm -hmm. and. For me, this is it because this is the turning point for kids. Exactly. When they see me in my classroom, they understand, oh, you got to be great. You got to be on time. Coach mm -hmm. is not playing. Coach is not. Coach knows when you come in, she's checking that work. Exactly. When we get to basketball, coach is on you too. Mm -hmm. Coach is making sure you run them laps, you're stretching. And the girls always try to get out of stretching, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you got to, you, you know it's more important, right? So even though they hate it, you got to be one to put back on that. Mm -hmm. And you got to be willing to say, you may not love it right now, but you'll thank me later. Right. And so for me, this is the most crucial age for young girls. I remember being, what, 15, 16, and saying, oh, I don't have to do this, I don't have to do that. But now being on the opposite end, I understand that they need a, they need a strong female role model at this point in their life. Who else is going to do it? Right. Right. And I had parents who were busy, worked two jobs. Okay. So I understand that their parents are busy. Yeah. Coach got it. You need me to call your mom for you to stay at practice? I'll do it. You need me to open the gym on Saturdays? Bring your little brother. We're exactly. going to do it. So for me, this is where the impact needs to be made. And before you turn 18, before you're an adult, 
come to see me, I'm here. Mm -hmm. Whereas Stevenson, come, let me coach you. You know, you remind me a lot of Kobe Bryant's mama mentality. Mm -hmm. You know, you try to advocate women empowerment and try to get girls to achieve their dreams. Yeah. What does the mama mentality mean to you? Oh, man. So that touches someone home. Um, huge fan of UConn, right? Love UConn, Girl, Gino. <laughs> um, but I, I think it's two things, right? So. Lately, as a team, we've been reflecting on that and the, uh, the mentality to me being mentally tough and never giving up is easily said. Right. It's easily said, easily done. I mean, sorry, easily said, not easily done. And when Kobe passed, it was like so heavy for my team. And I, and I really didn't expect it. Like I knew me as an adult, I seen Kobe play his prime. I was like, yes, this is going to be amazing. <laughs> um, but when he passed, it was like very heavy for me. But when I came into the gym, the girls it weighed very heavy on them. Wow. And I was like, hey guys, like, what's up? I like, called oh, Kobe passed, he was with his daughter. I'm like, so let's talk about it. What is it? Is it that he was a great basketball player and he passed? Or was it that he was a father and he passed? Because mm -hmm. I, I want to understand the lens in which you see life. Because I'm not sure what you need in this moment. Right. And they were like, coach, it was everything, right? It was the man he was on the court, the man he was off the court. Mm -hmm. He inspired basketball players, but he inspired his daughter to play. Mm -hmm. Like he, when he had no more left to give, he gave it to his daughter. Exactly. He gave the game to his daughter. And I'm like, so what do you take from it? Mm -hmm. And I'm asking them because I need to see the fire in you. Right. And I need to understand where this feeling is coming from. And they told me every day he played his hardest. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter if it was practice, doesn't matter if it was on the court, it was a game playoff, it doesn't matter. He would give everything he had every single day. And his daughter was the same way. His daughter loved UConn, his daughter loved the Huskies. <laughs> he was at so many WNBA games, so many college games for women. And so now, what, what's been our mantra lately is one, two, three, Mamba. So looking at some of the documentaries and things that Kobe had to say, we looked at it together as a team and it was heavy on our heart, but we're playing for something bigger. Mm -hmm. He left a legacy, so what is ours? Right. What is ours gonna be? And that's what it's all about, Adidas legacy. Like, what are you leaving behind? Mm -hmm. What are you gonna leave Stevenson? You're gonna leave, I have seven seniors, amazing young women, but you're gonna leave. Mm -hmm. So what are you leaving behind? What is your legacy? Is it gonna be the thousand points you're scoring? Or are you gonna help the next generation of women build the program? Right. You leave pieces with, you leave pieces of you with the women that are staying here and gonna continue. Mm -hmm. So I have a couple great players on the team. I have girls who are still learning, but are you gonna take the time and pull your sister aside and say, this is your moment, we trust you. Put the ball in your hands, I got you. And so that's what we've seen a lot on Saturday. Yeah. Selfless play. Mm -hmm. I believe in you, boom, got it. And we're, we're not a program that has everything right. Like mm -hmm. we're not a, we're not a program that has six foot three girls and <laughs> you know, we're making threes on the outside. We're a program that doesn't give up. Right. And that's Mamba mentality. You may not have everything you want the way you want it, but we'll get there. Mm -hmm. Regardless of the obstacles and circumstances, we're gonna get there. I believe it, they believe it. Nobody else has to believe it, we're fine. As long as the AD James believes in me, we're gonna be fine. <laughs> Give me some gym space, that's all I need. That's all she needs. <laughs> that's all I need, gym space. <laughs> oh my gosh. And the Adidas Legacy game, you know, Adidas Legacy is meant to promote change, to yes. empower, to inspire mm -hmm. student athletes in basketball that um, are in the inner youth. Mm -hmm. How was it to play for your first game with them? Man, it was rough. Like, you wouldn't think it was rough. Um, so the first game we ever played, it was a huge event. It was right. two games that day. We lost the first one. Mm -hmm. And I'm from Queens. We played John Adams. And I'm like, nah, I don't care if I'm from Queens. We gotta win, yeah. right? This is this is Stevenson, we gotta win. We came out and we lost. And I was like, oh my gosh, we're gonna lose. It's our first game as Adidas Legacy. We look great, we got the best gear on, playing awful. <laughs> so I talked to my team. Guys, what's going on? We're nervous, we're nervous. Why are you nervous? It's your gym. Coach, you don't see the gym. Coach, you don't see the crowd. Coach, you don't see the DJ. They got an announcer. For the first time, we're on a platform we've never been. Mm -hmm. For the first time, we have the attention of people we've never had. 
Right. We got announcers calling our name, coach. We don't know who that is. So, you're nervous? <laughs> that to me, you're nervous. Why are you nervous? Do you believe in you? I believe in me, coach, but there's a crowd. Mm -hmm. no, they're here to see you. This is your moment to shine. This is your moment to build. Like, show me what you can do. So we come out for the second game. I'm like, all right, we got to get this. We got to get this. And I'm nervous. My first game, Dita's game. I got a nice little polo on. Dita's legacy. I'm like, yeah. Got the, we, got, we got all new gear now. We're going to be the best dressed team. We're going to play the worst. Oh, my God. Mm. When we come out, I got a little point guard. Uh, her name is Naya. <laughs> Naya comes out. She's like, coach, I got you. I said, okay, you got me. She's like, yeah, I got you. Watch. She goes to get another girl on my team, Moni. I don't know if you've seen her dancing around. Moni's the yes, one. Moni's the hype man. <laughs> she is. So I'm looking at them two and they're whispering to each other. Blah, blah, blah. So they go get all the girls in a circle. And I'm looking at them. I'm, I'm standing to the side. And Moni is the loudest voice in the room. Moni's the loudest voice, biggest personality. Naya's a little more quieter and laid back. But Moni goes to her team. Moni's like, this is our house. We're here. We here, we, this is not a, a, a privilege to play, we earn this. Right. This is years of building a program. This is years of us working together. This is years of us understanding and trusting each other on the court and off the court. This is years. So this is not a moment for us to be scared, like take ownership. And right. that's a big thing for us, take ownership. You deserve to be here. Yes, it's great to be part of Adidas Legacy, but we earn this spot. And for us, it's showing up every day. Mm -hmm. And knowing that when we put on those jerseys, there's thousands of high schools who unfortunately don't have that opportunity. So how do we capitalize? We give back in every moment. When we play a game, we have to know that there's another team that could have benefited from this if we don't take advantage. Right. So this is our platform, let's use it. So we come out, they're done talking, they get on the floor, and I'm like, oh, here we go, game two, we gotta win something today. <laughs> and jump ball goes up, everything settles down, and I'm like, guys, settle down, settle down. And they're like, coach, sit down, we got this. Right. <laughs> That's the first time anyone ever told me to sit down. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Boom, 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 pass his head, shots hit, this goes down. I'm like, guys, time up. Guys, come on, come on, come on. What's going on, what's going on, what's the difference? Like, coach, we got this, we trust each other. We trust you, sit, we know the plays. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. So when we, Game finished, we won, it was amazing. But winning the game wasn't the best part. Right. Seeing eight, eight schools and 16 teams and every adult from Adidas Legacy, the school, the community come in and support us and believe in us and know that we could win. Yeah. That's why we play. It's not because we got this great gear. That's amazing, that's of course. There's so many teams that don't have that. But knowing that you're making a difference in your community, you're bringing people together, that's so hard to do. It's very hard to get people from all races and all cultures, from all backgrounds in the same building to cheer on a team that was probably never even thought of, right? Like women's basketball, what? In the Bronx. And we're not, we're not a double A team who's not Murray Burcham and all these teams, right? We're not huge, we're not huge household names yet, but we're gonna get there. Yeah. And they know that. And Adidas Legacy has given us a platform that we've never had before. And I don't know, if we would have ever had a platform like this without Adidas Legacy. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the space, playing in just the space alone, knowing that stamp from Adidas is on there, it definitely gives you a push. It definitely lifts you up because now you know the expectations are higher. Mm -hmm. Now you know you got to rise. Now you know your gym is going to be packed out. Now you know your jersey looks good, right? <laughs> so now you got the warm up shirts, you got the warm up jackets, you got the pants, sneakers, all this. You could look good, but now you got to rise. Mm -hmm. And so, for us to be part of Adidas Legacy, it's bigger than a blessing, it's bigger than basketball, it's a family, right? Like, what else can you ask for from a program? What else can you ask for from a partner than Adidas? Joe Cruz put us on his back and said, I believe in you. Right. Every, he was here on Saturday, he's like, I believe in you. Let's go, let's get this work. Mm -hmm. It's what we do, what we do, Joe. He was happy, we were happy. But I think for him and for us, winning games is great. But when he sees the faces on the kids yeah. and we see their faces and they know coach believes in me, we're going to get this win. There's nothing better than that. Mm -hmm. There's nothing bigger than that. How can you give more back to a community and tell them I believe in you? Let's come together. I, I, don't, I don't know if there's anything bigger than that you can give to your school.
community. That's your legacy. When the kids hear those words, I believe in you, it just get, brings up their confidence so much. Mm -hmm. Seeing this court here, yeah. like when I walked in, I was like, wow, yeah. this is an amazing court. Mm -hmm. What Joe done to um, the school, to yeah. other schools in the boroughs, it's just an amazing thing. It's incredible. Um, there's so many people at Adidas to be thankful for, right? You got right. Olivia, Brandon, Joe. Um, I think that Joe's kind of our go-to guy. So <laughs> we need anything. We're like, Joe, I need you. <laughs> and he's like, I got you. What do you need, coach? What do you need? Um, but not just Joe. It's like the other coaches uh, from Adidas Legacy. Right. Um, and there's a couple female coaches. But again, it's mostly male-dominated. Not. Of course. It's just PSAL and basketball in general, right? Like how many female coaches you see not because they're incapable just because it, the way things have been until you make that change is not going to happen right. so change begins with you um so to see him come out and show the girls love and mm -hmm. take pictures with them and you know let them be them right. so many times we got to tell the girls sit down in class i'm a teacher sit down Stop talking, be quiet. But when you see somebody like Monty in the middle of the game, like, no, this is my moment. I'm here to shine. <laughs> and you have the marketing team from Adidas, like, what's your name? Who are you? Yeah. You should work for us. And like, really give that energy back. That is amazing. Wow. And so like, the platform is not just basketball for Adidas. It's how do we take kids from an environment where they're used to not having much and from a school that doesn't have a ton of money to give to mm -hmm. right? We have very little resources. We're a school in the Bronx, right? right. It, we're a school in Throg's Neck. We have metal detectors and we have, we're, we're in a neighborhood that is tough for a lot of these kids. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of kids who don't know where the next meal is coming from, right? But if we can take your time here with us and capitalize on it and make sure that you leave us better than you came, right. that's it for us. If we can keep you a part of Adidas family, you're going to stay, you know, and for as long as we can, we will do that. Come back next year. You want to coach with me? Come and coach me. Because mm -hmm. coach needs help. Right. I got 15 girls banging <laughs> on my door already. Coach, <laughs> when's the next scrimmage? I'm like, oh, relax, relax, you know? Yeah. So Adidas Legacy has been life-changing, not just for the girls, but as a coach, right? What other platform do you have as a female coach mm -hmm. to say, wow, like, my team has new jerseys or my team has the sneakers that they need or my team is getting the tr athletic training that they need right we have exos who came out and worked these girls out mm -hmm. we have dj sackman coming tomorrow oh, and nice. yeah nba trainer so this is not something i can do this is not something that any coach who coaches high school basketball can do adidas legacy can do it joe cruz can do it um it's bigger than basketball but it's probably bigger than life at this point right like joe Whatever you can do for us, we're appreciative of it. And we also are gonna make sure that whatever we do, we're gonna give it 100%, right? Like right. Mamba mentality, and we're gonna capitalize on the platform you gave us. And with that moving forward, how excited are the girls um, to go into playoffs? <sighs> so for the girls to play off, it's so nerve wracking, right? Yeah. Because as a coach, kind of like, just play your best. But then as a coach, you're like, nah, we need to win, right? <laughs> so it's two different mentalities, but for them, they're nervous. They're nervous. Um, partly because we do have this new light on us and this new shine on us. Mm -hmm. Adidas Legacy, oh, you guys look good in your outfit. Man, let me see you play. All right. Do you play as good as you look? Mm -hmm. So that's been our thing, right? Like, we could be the best dressed team, but are we going to be the best team? Are we going to be the best team on that court? And so for us, when we look at playoffs, it's not just can we win a game? Mm -hmm. But it's three, four games after that. Right. Because it's not tomorrow, it's next week and next month. What is the legacy going to be? Am I going to leave Stevenson with a championship? Am I going to go out the first round? Are we going to have three rounds? Are we going to play in the semifinals on Saturday? How do we get there? And how do we make sure that the playoffs is just as big as a learning experience as the whole season? Because mm -hmm. the season starts. Playoffs is the real season. Yeah. Anyone can come and show up 20 games. PSAL can schedule 100. But do you show up in the playoffs? Because mm -hmm. that's what really matters. The best of the best. That's where we are. And knowing that you look at your girls' faces, and no one plays better defense than Selena. There's no better point guard than Bianca. No one gets more rebounds than Kaya. You're a junior, and you finish better than anyone in the PSAL I've ever seen. So looking at your girls' faces and saying, this is the playoffs, this is your time. Don't be nervous, because you've been playing like you should play all season. Okay. Right? 
So going in the playoffs, I'm nervous. They're like, nah, coach, I got this. Yeah, because I believe in you, right? <laughs> so it's like, your love, you're capable, you're powerful. Mm -hmm. You know this. You know that we practice harder than we actually play, right? We're going to make sure practice is the hardest thing that we face. Because once you play in that game, it's easy now. You tired? No, I'm not tired, coach. I'm not sitting down. I'm up, I'm up, coach, I'm up. So it's like, sometimes you got to get them riled up. Like, you got to tell them, I need some energy, I need some energy. Mm -hmm. Coach, I got you. I know, I know, I know what to do. So now playoffs is coming. But they're ready. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready. I'm nervous. Don't tell them this, right? Um, but they're ready. They're ready. I got seven seniors to leave it all on the court. I got seven seniors who have been through everything when we didn't have anything, when we didn't have new jerseys, when we didn't have sneakers, when we didn't have a platform, when we didn't have Joe Cruz in the crowd. Right. Um, we didn't have a new gym. It was, <laughs> it was okay, but it wasn't like this, you know? Mm -hmm. This is it. If there's a time for every you to show up and win, it's now. And they know that. Well, World Fans Real Talk wishes you the best of luck Thank in the playoffs. You, sound, you guys seem like you're going to do amazing. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> From your ears. <laughs> you got yes. this. We hope so. We hope so. Um, thank you for coming out to Stevenson. Mm -hmm. um, come out to more games. Right? No, like, definitely yeah. going to come out to more games. Definitely during Women's History Month as well. For I think sure. that's going to be a huge event as well. Yeah. We're going to do um, some scrimmages on Women's History Month to kind of highlight the female teams. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's important to not just play during uh, PSAL season and, like, give back and, right. and, and do your regularly scheduled games. But there's players that you want to give them an opportunity to shine for Women's History Month. Like, I, I got seniors that want to play. <laughs> so we got to give them that, that platform and that time to shine. And Women's History Month is so important because so often that we learn that the world is male-dominated. And I love the male support we get from the community. But how do we get the females out now? Right? So right. How, do you, how do you get the moms and the aunts and the sisters and the cousins to put the phones down and be like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm cheering on Stevenson, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So I think that's where we go from here. That's where we go into Women's History Month is women supporting women. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be critical. So Thursday, we're going to go support South Bronx Prep in their playoff game, Adidas family. We're gonna go make sure that we give them some love. That's um, great. It, it, we have to do. If we don't do it, who will? Mm -hmm. Right. Hold each other accountable. That's it. Well, let them know where to follow you. Yes, of course. Um, <laughs> always looking for a good plug. Uh, <laughs> at, at Instagram, right? Um, at Stevenson Girls Basketball. Hashtag Adidas Legacy. Hashtag Adidas Legacy NYC. Um, make sure you come out to a game. We appreciate you. We can't wait to see you. Thanks for joining us once again. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yes. With Coach B, I'm Sierra Jordan with Will Fans Real Talk. Thank you. Live from the camp. Four live. Five the camp. Uh huh. This is Real Fans Real Talk. Talk. Real Fans Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real Fans Real Talk. We the illest of course. Real Fans Real Talk. We the illest of course. Real Fans Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real fans, real talk, reporting live from the cam High in demand, so please stand by if you can What we got is worth a lot, so put a tie in your plans On court, talking sports through the eyes of the fans With Trip Young, Emma Marie, Eric Sanchez You heard what I said, we elite Check the latest topics and stay ahead of the beat Keep us in your topics and uh -huh. we ahead of the Yo. streets it's Johnny Floss, bringing a different type of blend Backing up Misfit to make sure y'all tuned in You gotta watch, this show is one of a kind Updates on your TV screen from 8 to 9 For the older folks, so even if you younger No matter what sport, this show, we got it covered It's filmed live, in the middle of BK So ain't no better sports show to watch on Thursdays Real fans, real talk